Oh, what's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do a word from the ancestor reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, this one's for you. You are second this week on the zodiac lineup, and this would be the fourth reading of the week. Okay, remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started with the Urban Tarot. You already know how this goes. We're going to pull three cards, one from the top, one from the bottom, and one energetically from the middle. Okay. If I can get to it. There we go. Okay. And we will clarify with the urban, uh, the everyday tarot in a few minutes. Okay. So let's see what you guys have going on. So we have, ooh, the 10 of pentacles. We have the prince of wands and justice. Okay. 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 What is good Sagittarius? Okay. Um, the vibe is real here. Okay. So we have the 10 of pentacles to start. Okay. Very shiny coinage we have here. Okay. So something of value is in your atmosphere right now. Um, Sagittarius. Okay. I'm trying to see what this is. We have like some jewelry here. And there's a diamond, okay? Um, if you're familiar with, you know, New York, there's like the diamond district, if you will, okay? And so there's something of innate value in your world right now. Um, I'm feeling something in reference to uh, maybe like a family heirloom of some sort um, that you may be... Um, maybe you have acquired or was passed down to you, okay? And so it is a very high value, okay? Next, we have the Prince of Wands here, the Prince of Wands, the journalist, okay? I feel as though with this Prince of Wands, the way that this person is kind of like pointing, okay, with the journalist, journalist, true journalist, we're not talking about gossip columnists or anything like that, but we're talking about talking with straight facts, okay? This is very determined, passionate energy here with this Prince of Wands, okay? So you're basically laying down the facts. It's no holds bar. This is something that was passed on to you, okay? Um, like I said, some type of family heirloom is the main thing that I am getting the most right now. Okay. Um, something of high value. Okay. And so at this point in time, the biggest thing when it comes to heirlooms and, uh, disseminating family artifacts and things of that nature, you definitely want to have something to back you up. Okay, Sagittarius, that shows, um, and it could go as far as, you know, other family members that can vouch for you, but really something that's written, okay? Um, look at all the, you know, celebrities that have passed, and it's been family squabbles over, you know, artifacts and property and things of that nature, and there's no will. So it's like, who's supposed to get what? Okay, it gets kind of messy. Okay, and so with that being said, we do have the justice card here. Okay, um, where this is uh, another major arcana, if you will. Okay, where this person is blind. Okay, but they are holding a sword blindfolded and they have the scales behind them. Okay, someone is trying to negate the truth. Okay. Um, 
in which they know something is owed to you, okay? It may involve some type of legal matters in order for you to be able to receive this heirloom, okay? And so for some reason, there's nothing else I'm hearing is just something in reference to an heirloom, something of major, major value, okay, is what I'm hearing. Now, we're going to go into the clarifiers. Let's see if we can find some additional information for you, Aquarius. Um, whatever comes out, comes out, but this is very specific, okay? So it's not going to be for everybody, so get in where you fit in, okay? So let's go ahead and do the same. We have one from the top for the 10 of pentacles. We have one from the bottom for the prince of wands. And we're gonna choose one energetically from the middle for this justice card, okay? So let's see what we have. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ace of Pentacles, clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Mind you, that equals out to 11, okay? You are over the amount of Pentacles here, okay? And that's not a bad thing, okay? That is a very good thing, okay? Um, something was actually given to you, okay? Um, something of very, like I said, innate value, okay? You even recall having the conversation with the relative themselves, okay? Um, maybe they decided at that time, if it was a ring, they gave it to you a um, long time ago, okay? Um, someone Sagittarius could be looking for that ring, okay? As they feel like they are the ones that should be acquiring it, but it was actually given to you, okay? Um, again, it's gonna be all about facts. It's, I mean, damn near down to dates, okay? <laughs> um, is, is going to be um, what is a defining factor, okay? But it is a value and it does belong to you based off of the communication that you have with this particular um, family member, friend, whatever the case may be, get in where you fit in, okay? But this is something very major and of huge value. Okay, um, this Ace of Pentacles is usually someone offering something to you, okay? Um, I do feel as though Ancestors are saying that there is a possibility that someone will try to maybe negotiate to give you something else as a trade for this particular item. Um, it's totally up to you whether or not you want to do that or not. Um, but I have this feeling, Sagittarius, that you will keep it, okay? Um, your family member would want you to have it. That's why they gave it to you, okay? So let's keep going forward, okay? We have <laughs> wands on wands energy here, okay? The Prince of Wands being clarified by the Ace of Wands, okay? Like I said, I do not feel that you are going to be letting this item go, okay? It is something very important to you um, that you would like to keep. You feel as though you would take better care of it than the other person or anyone else for that matter, okay? That may um, have the intent of actually selling it for money, okay? This has more than just monetary value to you. It has very um, sentimental value to you as well. Um, as Pentacles is talking about worth, finances, wealth, yes. But primarily, I feel like this is something very sentimental um, that you would prefer to keep in the family, okay? It could be a ring, it could be art, it could be a, a statue, um, anything, okay? But whatever it is, it is of high value and it is priceless to you based off of um, the age of it is very significant. Otherwise, why would it be coming up in your ancestor reading, okay? 
So like I said, this Ace of Wands coming out here is very determined. Like I will beat somebody off to keep whatever this item is, okay, of value, okay? And so, like I said, it's very determined energy to keep this, okay? Um, like I said, you have the Justice card here. Either some legalities will come into play in order for you to keep this item, or it's going to take a lot of facts, and it's going to have to take someone, you know, just chucking up the bullet and saying, you know what, fine, just go ahead and keep it, okay? Um, because it was meant for you to have it, okay? So the Justice card here is being clarified by the Two of Pentacles, okay? Two of Pentacles, okay? Just talking about going back and forth, teetering here, which it is, again, like I said, Justice card showing someone being blindfolded um, and holding a sword, okay? Whoever this person is, they have to be very truthful, okay, with themselves. Um, maybe they were around when you were given the item, okay? Like I said, for some of you, you were already given the item um, face value, and maybe this other person was there when it was given, okay? And they are trying to possibly turn a blind eye, possibly, to that very definitive factor um, just so they can get it, okay? Um, it's possible that this person is going back and forth in their head as far as whether or not to let you have it or if it's worth, you know, fighting for um, as they know particular details as to how you acquired the item, okay? So with that being said, you know, it's based off of this person of how they're going to really handle the situation if they're just going to let it go or if they're going to try and be difficult, okay? And that's where they are right now, okay? It could also be you, excuse me, that's trying to figure out whether or not if it's worth arguing about, um, but I believe you've already made that decision with this Ace of Wands showing up here and Wands energy being here twice with the Prince of Wands and then wands by itself very determined passionate grounded energy um so it's up to this person to whether or not if it's going to continue to be a tug of war or just to let it go okay so we're at 12:50 in your reading let's go ahead and get into the ancestor oracles to see what the ancestors what else the ancestors need you to know I'm going to shuffle three times and then we will cut and get an energetic pull from the deck. One more. Okay. And then let's go ahead and cut this deck three times. Okay, and so <laughs> Sagittarius, okay, you are getting the same card as Scorpio right now, okay, thus the reason for my slight laughter here, okay. Um, it is again psychic strength, shield, talisman, and gold light. Okay, protect yourself from any type of negative thoughts or negative energies. Period. Okay, shielding yourself, knowing what you know. Okay, and also shielding yourself from this person. Okay, um, from wanting to pry any further. Um, maybe emotionally trying to hinder you um, from being attached to this item, okay, which is kind of a low blow to you. You kind of take it as a low blow, okay? So, 
Sagittarius, it says psychic strength, shield, talisman, and gold light. The ancestors speak when you are feeling drained or vulnerable. You can shield yourself physically and, I mean, not physically, psychically and emotionally. This card encourages you to look after yourself by setting firm boundaries, okay? So you do need to set some boundaries with this person, okay? Um, as far as, you know, wanting to continuously talk to you about the item, um, things of that nature, okay? And again, like I said, possibly attacking you um, emotionally so that way you don't have an attachment to the item, okay? It says remain unattached to comments or attitudes that are unhelpful. Put out a hand for help where possible and surround yourself with positive energy. Staying focused on your goals and your loves will bring strength, okay? Thus, this wands energy, okay? Staying focused on, on your loves and what you are trying to acquire um, in your life should give you the strength that you need to continue to fight for this item, okay? So... With that being said, let's go into the angel messages to get your final message of support. If you know your birth chart and you have Scorpio in your birth chart, by all means, go look at the Scorpio ancestor reading. That actually might be a little helpful to you, okay? And we're cutting. Okay, and let's get an energetic pull here for you guys. Okay, patience, patience is your card here. It says, now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future, you will synthesize your knowledge into action, okay? Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future, you will synthesize your knowledge into action, okay? So at this point in time, Sagittarius, you are gathering possibly information, maybe in reference to settling um Settling uh, heirlooms or um, inheritance, okay, if you will. That's the word I was looking for, trying to settle inheritance um, without certain documents, possibly, okay. Um, or if there are, is documentation, you may be looking or trying to gather information um, that'll be useful to you, okay. And by chance, if there is, there could be someone in your circle that will end up going through the same thing and what you know will be able to help them, okay? Usually that does seem to be the case. Um, whenever you have some type of experience, you know, retain that information, retain that knowledge as it will be useful either in another situation that you, you may end up going through the same situation or someone else. Okay, and so it is always helpful to share information that could be helpful to someone else. Okay, as it stated in your ancestor read with the ancestor speaks to lend a helpful hand if possible, and that's by sharing your experience with others. Okay, so Sagittarius, that is all that I have for you guys today. We have one more reading, your tap into the soul, which is on Saturdays. So until then, peace.